Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Strata Launch Aircraft moves under its own power. Bell V280 Valor achieves first flight. And E also certifies Rotax 915 ISC 3A aircraft engine. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's December 20th, and this is Airborne Unlimited. This past weekend, the scale test team successfully executed a low speed taxi test of the Strato Launch aircraft. During this initial taxi test, the aircraft moved down the runway under its own power for the first time. These first test points have demonstrated the fundamental ability to control the aircraft's speed and direction on the runway. What is it like to move the world's largest aircraft? Joe Sweet, project pilot, commented, It was a lot less intimidating once we had it out there, in terms of how much runway we take up. From a visual standpoint, we had a lot more room than I was anticipating. Getting the airplane moving under its own power was really interesting. Just seeing and feeling how the nose wheel steering reacts and how the brakes respond to the inputs. Skeld has been working with Strata Launch for the past five years designing, building, and testing the world's largest aircraft. Paul Allen's mission for Strata Launch is developing an air launch platform to make access to space more convenient, reliable, and routine. Later taxi testing will include faster speeds and more challenging steering and braking tasks, all in preparation for first flight. It was exciting to see this magnificent machine on the runway for the first time, said Brandon Wood, test conductor. After the break, Stroudsburg Pocono Airport is under new ownership. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news spy at aero-news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. A real estate developer has reportedly purchased the Stroudsburg Pocono Airport, but the new owner says that the airfield will remain open for the foreseeable future. While both the buyer and the seller were unwilling to disclose the purchase price, Monroe County tax records show that the $1.4 million deal closed on September 1st for the 106-anchor parcel. The new owner is Troy Nauman, the owner of Nauman Contracting in East Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. Bell Helicopters facility located in Mirabelle, Canada has completed its 5,000th aircraft. The aircraft of Bell 407 GXP will be owned by China's Shaxi Helicopter Company, LTD, which has signed a purchase agreement for 100 Bell 407 GXPs earlier this year. This is an incredible milestone for Bell Helicopter and a testament to the talent and dedication of everyone here at Mirabelle and across the company, said Cynthia Garneau, president of Bell Helicopter, Textron Canada LTD. The Mobile Chamber of Commerce has named Continental Motors Manufacturer of the Year for 2017. This annual award recognizes companies for their economic growth and commitment to the local community. Continental has long been the cornerstone of every growing aviation sector, said Troy Wayman, the Chamber's Vice President of Economic Development, Mobile Chamber of Commerce. Their world-class engines and reputations shine a spotlight on Mobile on the international stage. The Global Connected Aircraft Summit provides airlines, operators, integrators, and technology vendors complete connected solutions. 
The fifth annual event connects business technology and industry perspectives and goes beyond just in-flight entertainment to include operations, communications, and technologies that impact the aircraft. This year's premier Aerospace Connectivity Summit will be held June 4 through 6, 2018 at the Hilton San Diego Resort and Spa in San Diego, California. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The V-280 Valor has achieved first flight. The V-280 Valor is the next generation tilt rotor that is designed to provide agility, speed, range, and payload capabilities at an affordable cost. This is an exciting time for Bell Helicopter, and I could not be more proud of the progress we have made with first flight of the Bell V-280 says Mitch Schneider, President and CEO for Bell Helicopter. First Flight demonstrates our commitment to supporting Department of Defense leadership's modernization priorities and acquisition reform initiatives. The V-280 Valor is designed to revolutionize vertical lift for the U.S. Army and represents a transformational aircraft for all the challenging missions our armed forces are asked to undertake. The Bell V-280 Valor program is part of the Joint Multi-Role Technology Demonstrator Initiative. The JMRTD program is the science and technology precursor to the Department of Defense's future vertical lift program. According to Bell, the V-280 Valor will provide twice the speed and range of conventional helicopters. After these messages, EASA certifies Rotax 915 ISC-3A aircraft engine. In collaboration with NASC, introducing Sonics Aerospace, bringing you the Taros Group 4 UAS, the redesigned Tiger Shark Block 4, and the Subsonics Twin Jet UAS, all derived from flight proven manned systems, not concepts, real aircraft. More at sonicsaerospace.com. Welcome back. EASA has certified the BRP Rotax 915 ISC 3A aircraft engine and the company is working towards FAA certification of the new power plant. The EASA type certificate allows BRP Rotax to now produce the certified 915 ISC3A engine for the European market, thus allowing us to fulfill the request of our customers for a more powerful Rotax aircraft engine with proven reliability, said Thomas Uhr, General Manager of BRP Rotax, Vice President of Powertrain BRP and R&D. Not only has the certification been achieved within the promised time schedule, but the engine has been certified to even higher power than originally announced. Instead of 136 horsepower maximum power, the engine will offer 141 horsepower maximum power. After the EASA type certification, BRP's Rotax Aircraft Engines team will concentrate on getting FAA certification. Other countries will follow as each has its own validation process. The increased power is available up to at least 15,000 feet. So far, 12 original equipment manufacturers have integrated the engine and will make their own aircraft available very soon. An additional 47 original equipment manufacturers are also already in the final stages of the integration of this engine. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is currently on our winter schedule and is streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. See you tomorrow.